County Elections Administrator and she's here to talk to us about reapplying for the right to vote for felons. Welcome, Margetta. Good morning, thank you. It's wonderful to have you here and I just want to start off by saying thank you for everything you do for our Victoria County elections. It, it couldn't happen without you. Thank you. So let's dive right in. This past week we spoke about re-entry to society for, for ex-convicts or former felons mm -hmm. and what is that process like at the voting booth or at the, at the at the voting centers? Right, first of all, they would have to reapply to register to vote, because once you're a felon, you can't vote. But once you reapply, all you have to be able to is finish up all your qualifications during your term. And once you finish up that, you're uh, able to reapply and immediately be a registered voter again. So it's not automatic, you used to have to go through that Right, you have to do the registration. And what kind of paperwork is needed? It's just like a normal registration, like everybody else fill out. It just asks you, have you been convicted of a felon? And at that time, and it, if you're convicted of a felon, and at that time it also would ask you, have you finished up your terms of your incarceration? And if you say yes, then you can go ahead and vote, uh, be a registered voter again. Wow, and are there any new rules or anything else that felons should be aware of before they, they start this process? Does it take some time? No, it's just like a registered wow. voter. Uh, once you finished up all everything that you're required to finish, you, you can register and you can vote the next election if it's within 30 days of that election. Well, that's that's great news because it's, I mean, it's just important period for everyone to have the right to vote. That's correct. I know legally right now, if you are incarcerated, that, that vote, that opportunity to vote is not there. Right, now if you have your, you've been uh, have an appeal, then you still can register to vote because it's not a conviction yet. So if you're on appeal or uh, some other terms, as long as it's not a conviction, then you can register to vote. Wow. And speaking of voting, I wanted to ask about the mail-in ballots for this past election, May 6th. Was there a, a difference between this May 6th election and the November election as far as people learning how to um, receive their ballot by mail? Yes, it was. The laws have changed. Normally in November, we would send out applications to the voters that had voted in the last November election. Now we cannot. It's uh, an offense for us to send it out because it's called soliciting. A voter has to request an application, so therefore they need to call us and then we can mail them the application and then they'll send it back in to us. Wow, and were there some votes short than, yes. than usual this yeah. past election? Yes, normally for this type of election, the city and school election, we usually have about three to 500 applications. This time we only had 198. 198, so yes. that's significantly lower. That is. Could have been a, a game changer. Yes, it could have been. And what's on the horizon for the elections office as we look forward to the November election? Well, uh, back to those applications. If you haven't, didn't vote by mail this past election, you need to call and request, and then we can send you an application. We have been getting them in, so now we probably have close to 800 of them in. Wow. And is there something else you'd like to share with our viewers, just something they may not know about all the work that y'all do? Well, we try our best and um, we do have a good working team, so we just try to be there for the voters and we're there for any kind of questions. They can always call and ask us. Well, thank you so much, Margetta, for your time and, and everything that y'all do. Thank you. All right, coming up, don't go anywhere. We learn about a Juneteenth celebration happening in Port Lavaca. <laughs> 